So, what have we learnt in this lesson? First of all, we came across a new word that is called energy. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do any kind of work. And the things from which we get energy are known as sources of energy. So, there are two things we have learnt. One is energy and the second is we have learnt what are the sources of energy. Now, the main source of energy is the sun. And apart from the sun, wood, coal, mineral, oil, natural gas, wind, flowing water, tidal waves, etc. are also sources of energy. The required energy to run a scooter, a motorcycle or a car is obtained from petrol. Many auto rickshaws, cars and buses run on CNG or LPG. Buses and trucks run on diesels. Train, trains sorry, run on coal, diesel or electricity. Thus, it is necessary to get energy from some energy uh, source in order to do work. In today's era, the use of vehicles has increased substantially. People are mostly using scooters, motorcycles and cars for their everyday commute, commuting. With the increase in vehicles, the use of fuels like petrol and diesel is also increasing. Thus, this resource is obtained from the earth, but it takes lakhs of years to form. Looking at the way petrol, diesel and natural gas are used nowadays, it is highly probable that these resources of energy will be exhausted in the next 50 years. So, we should use these fuels judiciously. judiciously. Exhaustible, that is, those which get over, like exhaustible sources of energy are, these are coal, mineral, oil and natural gas. We must use them judiciously. Along with this, we must use non-exhaustible sources of energy like the sun, the wind and flowing water more and more in order to conserve fuels like coal, mineral oil and natural gas for our coming generations. Thank you.